Hello and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdoms video. This is Dragothian here. Today we're going to be doing some testing on Leonidas. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. Leonidas has been somebody that I've maxed on my 307 main account, but nowhere else. And I'll say that to me, he's been a little underwhelming. I know, I know, okay, I know. <laughs> I want him to be good too. He should be good. He's one of the best historical figures in the world and life for fighting and doing it with less than what you should have that's what he's for right well he's just not that good and and just from experience right like guan leo has been great for the most part it's one of the staple infantry marches on the field they do pretty well don't get me wrong but changing it up for uh chuck coming out or pakal that just came out or even harold or Alex, I mean, where's the special, right? Where Where is he special at? And there's two things that I wanted to test out with you guys. And I've got both of my T5 accounts in 307 here ready to rock and roll. This is my max one right here, Leonidas. There's two things that I want to test out. One is going to be the Son of the Lion, which is his fourth skill. This is what's supposed to make him do a ton of damage with whoever he's paired with. While on the map, each attack has a 25% chance to grant troops led by this commander 10% increased damage for five seconds. This effect can stack up to four times. So as long as it triggers once every five seconds, you should stack up 40%, right? I mean, that's the idea. You can stack up 40%. I want to test how long it takes of continual fighting for it to get to 40% damage bonus. That's what I'm going to try and test for you first. Secondly, his second skill. I want to see the speed of rage gain 15%. I want to see exactly what that does because there's no VIPs or anything like that. Um, there's no city skins or anything like that that's going to give you speed of rage gain. That's a very specific and targeted buff. And what I'm doing is I'm fighting my other T5 account, which has a 111 Leonidas. Okay, so. None of those are maxed. It doesn't even have the fourth skill, okay? Uh, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be testing it, and I'm going to go through the battle report with you, and we're going to see how long, how many turns it takes to get to that 40% stacks, or 40% damage worth of stacks for the fourth skill. And then we're also going to look and see how much that 15% rage generation actually helps, okay? So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. All right, so here we have the battle log. We're gonna go through here and we're gonna check and see how often Leonidas' skill for Son of the Lion, which is the fourth skill, procs off. We're also gonna take a peek at if the extra 10% rage generation that a max Leonidas provides versus a level one Leonidas provides does anything from a rage standpoint if it makes one of the skills go off faster at any point in time. This was a fairly long uh, battle this was almost four minutes long, almost four minutes long. So decently long battle uh, to give some feedback on. So let's go ahead and go to the battle log and we'll start going through here. So we were looking for the son of the lion to go ahead and proc off on the green section here. So nothing yet. Nothing yet. All right, here we go. So son of the lion, level five. While on the map, each attack has a 24% chance, 10% increased damage for five seconds, can stack up to four times. That's what we're looking for. We want to see how often this, this casts enough to stack up to give you the, the damage that you should want to be getting from Leonidas. 40% damage is a lot, especially when it's all damage. And if you pair him up with a skill damage commander, that affects that skill damage. Like Guan, like, again, uh, Harold, like... Uh, Chuck that just came out, like Pakal that just came out, all of those would work well with this skill uh, because of the damage bonus. So Son of the Lion, that one is procced on turn four. Let's look at turn five. Son of the Lion, three turns left, so it wasn't reprocked. Son of the Lion, four turns left, so it double procced here. So turn six here, 
gets a second proc, which refreshes the timer. Turn seven, three turns, so no proc. Turn eight, two turns, so no proc. Turn nine, one turn, so no proc. And they're casting their skills at exactly the same time. So at least for the first skill cycle, this did not help from a rage of uh, speed of rage gain standpoint on the left side here. I've got 15% for the green side and only 5% for the blue side or for the red side. So um, one second left on the Son of the Lion. That means that's probably going to go away altogether on turn 10. Son of the Lion effect ends at the start of the next turn. So we did not proc on turn 10, which means that we're going to lose all of that damage. We're at 30% right now, 20% damage for the first skill cycle. Let's go to number 11. No Son of the Lion. Number 12. No Son of the Lion again. Number 13, we have Son of the Lion, 10%. So turn 13, we procced, we got Son of the Lion, that's 10%. Turn 14, no proc, still 10%. Turn 15, no proc, still 10%. Turn 16, reproc, 20%. Turn 17, no proc, 20%. And the skills are going off, by the way. The skills were going off the last, uh, starting this turn. So turn 17, the second set of skills. So again, we're at 20% um, all damage bonus from the fourth skill, Son of the Lion. And we're already 20 turns in. We've not gone above 20%. Uh, here we go. Uh, same thing. Did not proc on turn 18. Turn 19, no proc as well. So turn 20 needs to proc or it's going to go away. It did proc. So 30 now is where we're starting. Turn 20, we're starting at 30 now. Uh, number 21. Son of the Lion, no proc. Turn 22, reproc. So we're finally at 40%. It took 22 seconds to get to 40%. Now let's see how long we can keep it. We got... 22 seconds to get to 40%. We at least have it for four turns. So one, no proc. So 23 is no proc. 24, no proc. 25 is the third skill cycle beginning. No proc. 26, reproc. Okay, okay. So 26, reproc. So now we have it for another four seconds. 27, no proc. 28, no proc. 29, no proc, 30, reproc. So now we're at 40%. So it's seeming based off the battle report that it's just, it takes a while to get humming. It takes a while to get humming as far as the 40%. Let's keep going through just to kind of give us the full, the full view of what exactly is going on. No proc the next two turns. So 31, 32 are no proc. 33, skill cycle four starts, no proc. 34, ends at the start of the next turn. So that was the end. So um, 35, no proc. So 35, we have nothing now. We have no uh, damage bonus whatsoever. 36, looks like no damage bonus as well. Yep, we have, in fact, we have negative 30 from Richard. Uh, now we have uh, same thing, no, no proc as well. 38, we've got no proc as well. 39, no proc as well. Man, we were humming there for a good eight seconds, but now we have nothing, no proc. 40, 41, no proc. We haven't proc for almost 10 turns. 42, no proc. Wow, 43, finally a proc. It took over 10 turns to get the next proc. That's insane. That's insane. 25% of the time we had no damage bonus whatsoever. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 44 per, uh, turn 44, no proc. Turn 45, no proc. Turn 46, no proc. Turn 47, no proc. Turn 48, no proc. See, this is the problem. So out of 50 turns, so I'm at 49, no proc. 50, no proc. Out of 50 turns, 
Um, we only had 40% for about seven turns. Um, that's roughly math wise, like, I don't know, 18%, 17%, very low, very low. Um, yeah, in fact, it's even lower than that. It's more like, uh, maybe 15%. So average is around 20% that you're getting throughout this. I don't, I haven't seen it so far, um, be at 30% for an extended period of time. It's only been at 20 or 40 or zero. Um, and really zero being the one that's most prevalent because it's just not procking. It's just not procking. I mean, look, it's still not proc. All damage negative 30% because of Richard. It procked here, Son, Son of the Lion, turn 53 now. Procked again, no, I'm sorry, still 10%, 54. 55, no proc. 56, proc, so now we're at 20%. 57 proc, so now we're at 30%. 58, did not proc. 59, proc, so now we're at 40% again. So it took another 30 seconds, 35 seconds to get back to 40%. To me, this is this is broken. Um, you know, I think the idea behind this was supposed to be, and maybe not, maybe broken is the wrong word, but I think if we look at commanders like uh, Chandra Gupta, for instance, Chandra Gupta down here at the bottom, it's the same idea with the blessings and stuff. Like you can proc 50% chance to proc a stack of blessed, two bless if you are outside of territory plus you can guarantee a proc for casting your active skill and then your second skill can gain a stack of blessings whenever you use hidden moon i mean it's just it, there's to make these commanders really really good they need their biggest skills to be procking all the time and that's kind of the difference when you see some of these reports against xeno yss with xy chandra they can be really really good or they can be really really bad and not only is it you know, obviously reinforcement and the way that you're going about, um, you know, owning the open field and things like that. But it's also about these procs going off because the Chandra Gupta procs don't happen very often. If you're off territory, it helps a lot with your expertise, gaining two bless if you get the proc. But even at 50%, I've seen some reports where Chandra Gupta doesn't proc for 12 turns. <laughs> that's half of his damage. So, I mean, that's the thing with commanders like this leonidas is another one that's in that camp and you're looking at the fourth skill here 25 percent chance to grant uh troops led by this commander 10 percent increased damage for five seconds this effect can stack up to four times the majority of the time with this type of description you should have 40 percent 25 percent is one out of four one out of four that's every four seconds you should have a prop and the buff lasts for five seconds. So you should have this up. Law of averages at least half the time. Right now we're staring at about 15 to 18%. So, I mean, that's that's the difference. 50% of the time, I would, I would kill to have 40% damage bonus for 50% of the time on a Leonidas army. But right now we're staring at 15 and to 18%. And the other thing again is you saw the, um, sorry. You saw the uh, the speed of rage gained. It did nothing. <laughs> they casted their skills at exactly the same time every time. Every time the skills went off exactly the same time, 10%. I doubt a 5% extra increase would do much better. This does nothing. 50%, 50%. What does that say? This battle took place so long, your messages have already forgotten the details. So again, when I mean, we're at turn 150 and there's been no change on the speed of rage gained, the whole reason you want to have a higher speed of rage gained is to have your skills go off faster. And right now that's not happened. That's not happened. It's not happening at all. So um, big deal here, big deal here. I mean, to me, again, this is why, this is why Leo is not, in my opinion, as solid as he should be. The speed of rage gain should give you something. Like right now, it's just a number on a skill. It doesn't actually provide anything. Now, maybe in combination with other, you know, buff over time skills from Joan, from William, um, you know, from Trajan, if you want buff over time rage skills in conjunction with the speed of rage gained, maybe that's going to be the key there. But right now, based on battle reports, there's absolutely no benefit to a speed of rage gained bonus of at, of at least 15% or less. 
Uh, maybe if we add, again, if we add Ashida in there, maybe we should do Leo Ashida. Is that really what we're down to now? Again, we're, we're, we're putting Leo with Ashida to try and get some more rage gain. That, that doesn't make sense, right? So we need, we need to understand here. Leo, to, in my opinion, is just so underpowered. Guan Leo is good because Guan is so good. It's, it's not the fact that Leo is so good. It's Guan is so good. He, Guan, Leo helps him survive a little bit longer, but that's really about it. All the benefits and things that Guan Leo does is Guan being allowed to do those things because Leo is so tanky on his expertise and provides the extra defense bonuses of 30% here. So, I mean, to me, to me, this is, this is underwhelming. 600 damage factor for a friggin' um, legendary commander. And the, the target has to be silenced or attack reduction effects. You can get an extra 50%. So we can almost get to the same, um, we can almost get to the same damage as Sun Tzu against three targets, not five. Sun Tzu can do at least five. Uh, and also, again, this is also going to be a 15% damage reduction per target, even though it doesn't say it, it is. It's a 15% damage reduction per target. So just underpowered. Leo is underpowered. Um, the skill damage that he does is a joke. The speed of rage gained is a joke. This one, I I didn't even check to see if how often honorable sacrifice was on there, but um, it wasn't going to show up for my main because it wasn't below 50%. So this is effectively worthless. This is a, a empty skill if you stay above 50%. And then the fourth skill, again, the one that should, you know, if it takes a while to ramp up, I get it. I totally get it. Um, you know, 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. Okay, get it to 40%. But once it's at 40%, it should stay there. It should stay there. Or at least ramp back up very quickly to it if it drops. I mean, it it's just bad. It's just very bad. So that's the battle reports, guys. Again, um, if you need uh, the battle report, I'm happy to send it to you in-game if you want to message me on my 307 main account. Um, that being said, I hope this has been enlightening as to why Leo isn't really as good as he should be. On paper, on paper... It should be okay at least because again you should be even though you're you're not doing as much damage at a time because of a second skill you should be casting more often you should be casting more often and that would help you pump out more damage over the term of a certain amount of time and this fourth skill should help you gain even more damage because it should be at 40 percent the majority of the time but unfortunately that's just not the way the game works. It's just not the way the game works. His expertise is his best skill, and it only lasts for 10 seconds. So that's kind of why Leo, unfortunately, I mean, I'm not, I might use him with Guan uh, on the open field, but even then, I mean, open field, you just saw it. He barely had that 40% buff on hardly at all. And again, the rage generation did absolutely nothing. I would rather have him with Chuck. I would rather have him with Harold. I would rather have him with... Richard. I mean, you saw Richard doing negative 30% damage. AoE. I might rather have that than the 600 AoE and the 30 defense that um, that Leo provides. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's been helpful and educational. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Have a good one and take care.